hey guys welcome to this new video so this is actually one easy simple uh, coding exercise and I find that these uh, simple things can really boost your coding exercise so today's session is actually on finding the largest number in a list so let's get started <clears throat> so for example this is our list okay um, I first remove this zero and we want to see the largest number in this list so you can see it's eight and there's many ways of doing that but at first we'll see the built-in ways built-in functions to find that so it's pretty easy max of list lsd will return the maximum number in this list okay fine it's eight yeah so now uh, now let's say you want to see the second largest number find out the second largest number so for that you need to sort it to sort you will use built-in sorted function then uh, pass our list and you can see this is now sorted two three four six eight so obviously you can now see that the second largest number is six now to grab that will use indexing so minus one will be the last one that is eight and minus two will be second one from the last direction okay so that's how you can also find out the second largest one but now if you want to write your own code define a function to find out the largest one or second largest one then you need to do some things or uh, go through some steps so let's say we are going to define a function to find the maximum or largest number and we are here passing the argument let's say it's just x and we are first setting our max to zero let's say our max is zero we don't actually we don't know what is our max but if this is just a hypothesis we'll see another way of setting the max way of max setting now at first max is zero now we are saying that for for i in that is items in x that is our list if i is greater than max that is i is greater than zero then we'll set the max to i max equal i so what we are doing here is that for i in x so we are going to iterate over every element in this list so at the first iteration our i is 2 okay at second 4 6 8 3 now we are telling here that if i is greater than max then set max to i okay set max to i that means at first i is 2 and which is greater than 0 so for the first iteration our max is 2 and similarly we will go through all the elements so let's print it print and max now this is within loop so far so far max oh condition and to find out the print, just the maximum number we are going to write out of loop out of loop max so let's see what it returns oh we didn't call the function so let's let's call it maximum and our list x parameter is lsd okay now you can see so far uh, it's not out of loop here it's out of loop Let's also give one 
one line, one line of uh, space. Yeah. So you can see at first our max is two, then six, then four, then eight, six, and finally eight. And out of the loop, printing just the maximum number that is eight. So that's how we can get our max, but this is not a valid one because we are setting our max to zero. Now what if we have something what everything minus? Let's say minus one, minus two, minus three. And what will happen? Out of loop zero. So this is just printing out zero because so far max is zero is greater than minus one minus two minus three. So we need to set max to something else. Now let's say we are going to again let's say max to set to none because we don't know our maximum number yet so it's none so let's say if max no let's say at first full loop for i in x i in x if uh, max equal none then uh, max equal i what's that mean that means at first we are iterating over all the elements in our list so when <coughs> it's true that max is equal none at the first iteration so we'll set max to i so at the first iteration our i is 2 so now max is 2 and at the second iteration max is now not none now we have a number in our max so this for loop is not going to work for the second iteration that's why i need to write another loop let's say elif l if now we are going to say if max is sorry l if um, ma i is greater than i is greater than max then we'll return what then max equal i so just the same thing max equal i max equal i just here one condition if i is greater than max we are setting max to i that's it now Uh, what so return max or print max okay if you don't understand have any question then you can write in the comment section down below I'll try to help you out so maximum LST oh if max equal non invalid syntax. Oh, I forgot to double equal. Let's see. Um, what? Minus one. Oh, yeah. So now you can see it's really functional. Whatever your um, list has, whatever number you got, it will always give you the right answer. And there's another one that's more easy one. I would say that to me that's the easiest one. It's like um, let's see that the last one. And so for let's say max setting max equal the um, what x of zero x of zero that is first. Let's say first element is our maximum one. So for i in x or you can say um, x 1 to the end 1 both will give the same answer 
so for i in x if just i is greater than max return or sorry max equal i that's it this is also applicable for any type of number negative or positive so let's print that max what oh every time i forget to call that function yeah you see and it's on so this is the simplest one or easiest one okay now let's say they have said if your number is less than one and we don't want to print it out we want to say so far the max is one so just if the maximum number is smaller than zero then print out just one okay just let's say just a condition so we just said saying that max equal this one so at first let's set another condition if um, max is less than or equal to zero okay if max is less than or equal to zero then max setting max equal um, one so here our max is greater than zero so now let's see now our list contains things that are less than zero so now it should print max equal one let's see what it returns yep successfully returned one so, but i and it took some time for me to figure that out because i used this for loop uh, here okay so now so far we have seen a when our numbers are actually integers now what if our list contains a string so words how can we find the largest word in a list so up next we'll see that so stay tuned thank you for watching